The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? I flew in business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Huey, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman, international aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now, no matter how you compartmentalize how you Desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken down to poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contention of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Atari, soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to. Soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died, so you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataris 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he is in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amaru is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions.
Time to earn your pay, people. Put on your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. They're kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this off, man? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa Blanca lieutenant so you can find Amaru. Drone is up. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move. Spotting another tango. Tango number three. Got a Sicario. There, and the watchtower. Coopere todo saldra bien. Pinche cabrón. 
Suéltame, Here's the deal. Te vas a morir. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Go and send us. Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? <laughs> Fucking hell! Espérate, cabron, espérate. Engaging. They know we're here. Got it, we're moving. Ready, hold the shot. Let's get back to business. Amaru, where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. Uh -huh. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. <laughs> Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. to all the women out there with mustaches. That's right, ladies. You know who you are. And I know we got more than a few down here in Latin America. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of you wapas go to tons of trouble to... Like some young cholo showing off his beach fuzz. I appreciate female grooming just as much as the next guy. I mean, the worst is when you're going down south and there's just enough stubble down there for you to think that you're eating a cactus. But I want you to know that Perico can still appreciate a lady with a little soft and fuzzy under the nose. Like Frida Kahlo or something. It's a little detail, a signal that, you know, sometimes means the Wapa is just plain hairy. But sometimes, it means she's got a little more horsepower in the engine, you know what I mean? Or sometimes both. And it certainly highlights a few possible new meanings to the phrase, mustache ride. Te amo, abuelita. This next jam was my grandma's favorite. Las mentes cerradas. The small-minded will tell you that Santa Muerte is a dark religion, morbid and dangerous. I say that it is very dangerous for children and simpletons. An attraction to death has long been one of mankind's great taboos, and taboos are made to be broken. Why else do we culture ourselves in holidays? Why are carnivals and the feast days of saints? Santa Muerte is a dark but central angel of death. And that representation of death affirms life. And life, real life, not that habit of overthinking. But La Verdadera Vida trembles with the force of the greatest thunderstorm, with the violence of the oceans. This is the experience that Santa Muerte embodies. Coming up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. That makes five. Tango marked. He's a little close to civilians.
Sí, voy a llevar dinero a la casa. I got two Sicarios next to the barn. Yo, I got a weapons case here. Brag out. Así que escuchen bien. La rebelión no perdona. Todavía no estamos a salvo. Pero Dios le pagará esto que ha hecho por mí. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Hey, come on, we're getting you out of here. I got it. I'll fly. Where are you taking me? Back to your friends. Entonces, Pac Katari has made his deal with the malditos extranjeros, the young fool. Take it up with him, senor. Hold up, there's a weapons case here. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us see. Their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. <laughs> 